Just like every year, after spending a couple of months in Calgary in spring, I move on to Saskatoon in early summer. Most people think I sleep in the van the entire time I'm on the road, but in reality, I mostly just do that when I'm in Saskatoon. So upon arriving there, I went straight to the rabbi's house in order to prepare my van. I burnt out the last of the gasoline in my aerator and got my van ready for sleep mode. Just as I finished, the rabbi got home. How are you? Good to see you. Saskatoon is in the province of Saskatchewan. If you look at the license plates, you'll see the phrase Land of Living Skies. The sky here is very dynamic, and the weather changes fast. You'll often see northern lights here. The sunsets here in Saskatchewan are very beautiful because there's often uh, different cloud formations and also because the horizon is a flat land horizon as opposed to an ocean horizon. I think there's a lot of kind of dust that sort of turns up around the land and so it creates all kinds of really red colors and just very beautiful sunsets. But what's most notable here are the storms. I've seen some crazy storms. Right now I'm sitting in my car, it's past 2 a.m. and there's a crazy storm outside, just crazy wind. I just came from brushing my teeth in the park and I was watching this lightning show in the distance. I actually love sitting in my car in these times. It's just so enjoyable, I find, to kind of witness these huge storms and you're sort of stuck in your little shell of a car, protected. You gotta make sure that you go pee before because you're not gonna be able to go outside for a break after. The rabbi and his wife bought a trampoline for their kids this year. The very same day, there was a tornado warning in the city. The wind was so strong that day that it dragged the trampoline across the ground. The rabbi was holding onto it, but was getting dragged along with it. Luckily, his daughters caught it on camera. Then his wife Sara realized that the safety net was acting as a sort of sail and was helping the wind drag the trampoline. So she quickly climbed up and scrambled to unhook that safety net as fast as possible while the rabbi was holding onto it for dear life. just stopped in this uh, place on the way to a town called Warman, which is a town of 10,000 people just outside Saskatoon. The road there takes you through these yellow fields that are either canola or mustard. It gives you a very typical landscape of what Saskatchewan looks like. This is a very heavily agricultural region of Canada. Yeah, they grow a lot of mustard. <laughs> Quero
So I'm here in this town called Warman. I have some clients in the small town, so I'll come here once in a while. But today my afternoon appointment canceled because of the storm. So anyways, a year ago when I was here last year, the rabbi told me that he discovered this house in this town that had a huge Star of David on the front of it. And we're kind of joking because no Jewish person would ever do such a thing. So we think that they're like evangelical Christians who are in love with the Jewish religion. There are many of those. They kind of take on a lot of Jewish customs even though they're not Jewish. And they almost boast like Jewishness even more than Jews do. So uh, the rabbi knocked on that house, tried to find out who lives there because he's always looking for more or Jews in the area but nobody was home nobody answered the door so he wanted to send me to do that because me being a door knocker I can find out who these people are so right now since I don't have any customers lined up and nothing to do I'm gonna go to try to find that house see if somebody's home tell them I'm Jewish and then uh, see what the response is and find out if they are actually Jewish or uh, just uh, crazy evangelical Christians There it is. Because I'm Jewish, I'm just asking because I choose to do that. So, me and my rabbi in Saskatoon were like, these people are clearly not Jewish. Yeah. But they were not, okay. You know, when you bought the house for 10 years ago, it was built. Oh, so you, you've been here for 10 years? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's like some Christians really like. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Anyways, interesting. Yeah. Okay, I was just curious. Yeah. Um, okay, well, would you be interested in window cleaning? No, I'm good. Nothing at all? Nothing okay, no problem. Alright, thank you so much. Have a nice day. See you. Yep. Obviously, I'm not the first person to ask this question. So I'm gonna get back in the car and uh, get out of this crazy storm. It's like crazy wind and rain. And I think I'm gonna head back to Saskatoon and call it a day. So yeah, at least mystery solved.